to an uncle floor here. Um, interesting subject, rather uh, unsettling subject. I call it uh, when fear is not enough. Now, I, I lived a pretty active life for a while there, and I've had more than a few close calls. You know, uh, some more uh, violent than others, let us say, but um, just being missed getting run over by a truck, uh, close calls like that, of course. Uh, if you better look down the barrel of a gun or, you know, when knives are drawn and things, these close calls that you think, here it goes, but they're quick and they're over quickly. The adrenaline comes very quickly and then it's gone and it has to dissipate and uh, it's over and done. But in recent years, I've been dealing with something else, and that is when these close calls aren't quick and fast. And I had one uh, back in the spring of this year that uh, still has me wondering. Uh, for a while there, I was unable to get my breath. Uh, breathing was a problem. And so to get from one end of the house to the other, I usually had to make a stop along the way. And this isn't a really, really large house. But the one day I made it to the living room, and I still couldn't get my breath. So I went across the living room to where my, my cell phone was sitting and my bottle of nitro. Uh, nitro is something that heart patients use in case of an emergency. And I got where my hands were about eight inches from these things and I collapsed. I slowly fell to the floor, still unable to breathe. So I'm laying there, my one arm is outstretched, I'm immobile, I can't breathe. And reasonable thought comes up that uh, this is it. No one's about to walk in and say, oh, gee, I'll get help. No one's going to make it in time. I know that, you know, when you're not breathing five minutes, you're out. So I'm just laying there saying, well, darn it. <laughs> I don't want to go. I don't like going this way. I don't think it's going to be very pleasant. But here I am. You know, it wasn't fear. It wasn't dread. It wasn't terror. It was just kind of a, an unhappy acceptance of what was to come. Well, obviously, uh, since I'm talking to you, I did start breathing again, and a few minutes later, I was able to get up off the floor. But it's been having me thinking ever since, because with other close calls, you always get that little Russian bit of adrenaline. There was none of that here. It was just a cold acceptance of the reality that I was facing. It wasn't fear. It wasn't dread. It was more like, oh, I don't want to go through this. So uh, for better or worse, why it happens, I don't know. You know, it's one of those things that comes with some of the illnesses I've been dealing with. But we have to understand that, of course, there's going to come a time when we all croak. Death is inevitable. It's death is uh, a condition brought on by life. It's when it happens in a slow and unusual way, though, that gets you thinking and wondering. So I'll leave you with this imponderable and uh, see what people make of it. This is Uncle Thor. Have a good one.